It is indeed a privilege to be here today to hand over the refurbished and renovated foster ward of the Ankafol Psychiatric Hospital. We, the class of WGHS 94, decided to give back to the community that nurtured and contributed to our formative years. Upon reaching this facility, my opinion changed. From today, at least for women, and because of women, this is no longer the case. We will do our best to be worthy of this great gift and do our best to maintain this facility in this state. Thank you very much. <laughs> the ultimate dream was to make this ward a place where females could seek treatment in a dignified and therapeutic environment. The details of our completed scope of work, the replacement of the old asbestos roofing sheets, which occupied approximately 2,000 square meters of space, were replaced to aluminum long span, which is what you see here today. The renovation of all these five wards, and this included provision of new electrical fittings, refurbished terrazzo floors, new ceilings, repainting, and much more. The work also included the refurbishment of the seclusion room, which was now just a room, refurbished to include padded walls, the defunct ECT room. Provision was made for a new laptop, new ceilings, new air conditions, lights, switches and sockets, repainting of its ceilings and walls to make it ready for use, introduction of a disabled bathroom, which was non-existent when we came in. We also introduced a disabled access ramp at the entrance to the foster ward. A new solid wood entrance door to ensure security at the main entrance to the ward was installed. And in addition to this entrance door, we also introduced new security doors where management thought were necessary. New tiles were laid for all bathrooms, floors and walls. All damaged ceilings, both internal and external, were replaced and repainted. With the approval of management, we introduced new closed couple WCs in all the washrooms to replace the KVIP concept, which was in use when we came in. We screeded the courtyard walkways and built new concrete platforms to receive the three new poly tanks that we had procured. We provided a new kitchen with new cabinets, a new kitchen sink, a kitchen sink, a mixer, and a new water heater. We refurbished all the damaged metal beds, constructed a new biofill tank when we realized that the septic tank on the right wing was completely damaged and could not be repaired. We completed all the above work successfully and painted the entire foster ward both internally and external walls. The foster ward at the Ankafu Psychiatric Hospital will be acknowledged as an ultra-modern ward, serving our generation today and the ones to follow. It was quite an exciting project because we're happy that we're going to do something to enhance the image of a place. I'm so grateful to the Associated Judge. I'll say that thumbs up to Wigan 94 year group for rehabilitating the anchor for foster psychiatry ward. I'm happy to be associated with this project. Thank you. Last year, a group of us from the 1994 year group of Wesley Girls High School were here at anchor for foster ward and we promised to refurbish and renovate the ward. We would love to thank everyone who helped make this happen. Thank you. Ankafu Psychiatric Hospital Management, all that we are saying is Wesley Girls 94 year group, you are our women of impact. You've really impacted to us. We say God bless you. Thank you. Hashtag mental health. Thank you.